Let's look at question number five. From the choices given below, choose the equation whose graph are given in figure one and figure two respectively. Now, like I told you, if a particular point satisfies the value of x and y in a given equation, then we can say that that point lies on that equation. So what we will have to do is we'll have to look out for each of these points. Is the particular equation holding true or not? Now in figure one, you have minus one and one as the two point which are there. Yeah. The other point is one minus one. Now in this particular case, if I apply the first one, y is equal to x. This is not true because here the value of x is one minus one. The value of y is one. Therefore, this is not true. x plus y is equal to zero. Now in this case, if I add minus one and one, I get zero. In this also, if I add one and minus one, I get zero. So therefore, this is the equation which is representing graph in the figure one. We don't need to check the rest of them because this is the one which is actually solving our purpose. Let us now look at the second figure. In the second figure, the numbers which you have or the points which you have are 0, 2 and 2, 0. So here you have been given that y is equal to x plus 2. In this case, if you look at it, the value of y is not x plus 2. If that was true, then this value should have been 4, which means this equation doesn't hold. y is equal to x minus 2. Again, if I take this equation in this case, then the value of y should be 0 minus 2 is equal to minus 2. But the value actually here is 2, which means even this equation isn't true. Let's look at the third one. y is equal to minus x plus 2. Now, if I check this equation for 0, 2, yeah, so value of x is 0, so 0 plus 2, which is 2. Now, this is correct for this one, but is it true for the second point also? 2, 0 is the second point. So, here x is equal to minus 2, yeah, so let me just do it here because there is a lesser space there. If I substitute the value of x from this, I get minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. And the value of y given here is 0, which means that this line satisfies this particular equation. 